contemplating on a revolution that time is now I just wanna be free I just wanna be free I just wanna be free Another episode of the Things I Wish I Knew About Money podcast. I'm your host, Camille Smith. And how is everyone doing? <laughs> As you can see, um, this is a premiere um, when you watch it by, by 5.30, July 9th. Uh, you'll be, I'll be receiving a reward uh, with Flip and Floss. So, you know, I still had to give you guys something, um, even though I wasn't going to be live. But um, I hope you all enjoy this episode. And I'm going to start it off with (laughs) the madness that happened yesterday. Um, Anyone that lives in Canada, and I want to say, they did say it was nationwide. But then I also seen a post that it, it happened in the East Canada. But anyone that has Rogers or Fido, Tech Savvy, uh, anyone that's connected with Rogers was disconnected from the world. And it was a hot mess. So picture this, picture this, picture this. And obviously, whoever was um, affected already knows. But I'm. There are people that are in different countries, so they don't know what happened. So imagine 6 a.m. in the morning. You're waking up, going to work, or doing your thing, and your internet isn't working. <laughs> your phone isn't working. Text messages, um, emails, nothing. So. Anyone that has a business and had a Rogers was extremely affected. Um, the crazy part was I was trying to get, I was trying to run errands around four or five and it was a hot mess. Um, no one had, well, it wasn't a hot mess for the folks that always keep cash on them and i want to start off with that because i remember back in the day uh my parents would be like always make sure you have money oh i have money under my mattress and stuff and i always thought like what's the point like i could just tap or or i have my credit card or debit card and yesterday was a prime example of why you should keep cash on you no matter what. So I um, I wasn't affected too bad. Like, that was wrong saying. I wasn't affected as others were, but it was actually really annoying because uh, just trying to get a hold of people was a headache. I was like trying to do smoke signals. I was like, yo, how am I gonna get a hold of these people? Like, let me try to see if I can email them. Maybe they'll be able to go somewhere else to get Wi-Fi. Uh, but it turned out it it worked for the best. Um, so yeah, that that's what happened in Canada. So I just want to start off with saying, um, make sure you have cash with you. I, I don't want to say, you know, like, make sure you have, like, $50. Maybe $50 is reasonable because, like, shooks, I wanted to co- wash my car. And that, the place that I go to, because I was really lazy, I didn't want to do it. I know, I know. Um, it cost about $25. I did not have... $25 cash in my my wallet and I know I used to but I used it and I didn't put back money so I was like dang um so 
let's just say that I should have revamped the money that was in my wallet. So going forward, I'm going to go to the bank today before I go uh, to Timbuktu <laughs> and make sure that I have cash on me because you never know when something's going to happen. Um, what, who else did this get defected? My grandma. She didn't. Oh, actually, she had TV, but she didn't have her phone. So it's a good thing that she has a cell phone with freedom. See, y'all are always hating on my phone carrier. Well, look at y'all now, Rogers and Fido. Look at y'all now. <laughs> I'm joking. So, um, I I I wanted to make that you know exciting as possible, and. I don't know if I'm gonna rant today. I shouldn't, no, no. I actually wanna stick with uh, what happened with Rogers. And this just shows you that we shouldn't rely on only two main um, telecoms because we only have Rogers and Bell. And imagine if both were locked down. Oh, it would have been a mess. It would have been a mess. And I would hate to see that businesses, I, I hated to see that businesses were affected. And not only was it businesses, it was interact too. So anyone that was trying to take money out, um, money out of the ATM, it wasn't working. Uh, I could only imagine what was happening at like hospitals and stuff like, and who else was affected? Canada Revenue Agency, CRA. Funny, funny. <laughs> um, so, like, basically them, the, some of the government, like, service Canada, and I was like, wow. Like, probably the police um, were affected, and I was just like, this is crazy. Like, what do you do? What do you do when, like, there's an outage nationwide, right? Um, and obviously, I know this is not about personal finance today, but it's something that actually, no, it is, because I mentioned about the cash, and it just shows you how um, consumed we are or how much, of, how affected we are when it comes to technology. And it's actually scary when it comes to um, what is it AI and just the technology or fintech and AI and just the technology when it comes to our phone. Imagine if no one had cash, like no one had cash, and and just to do regular day to day things, they would have been affected. So I definitely would recommend. Um, us to you know have money on us i was even i came home and i was like trying to find money and i was like why don't i have money <laughs> like why don't i have money like cash i should say why don't i have cash just at home um for emergencies so i definitely have to do that i know i'm saying it over and over again but i just want to show y'all like this is an eye uh eye opener to have cash on you, whether it's your um, house, car, and stuff. Don't put too many, don't put too much money in your car, because there's been carjackings happening, and it's outrageous these days. <laughs> no neighborhood is safe. I'm joking. Um, but yeah, I just that was just one thing, and ooh think next week a google because i want to talk about some stocks i haven't i haven't talked about the stock market in a while and i know people are wondering like oh camille you're so quiet about the stock market and all that stuff yeah because it's it's been whooping my i mean it hasn't whooped my ass Ooh, mm, it has but i'm okay um 
So I was praising oil and energy stocks last week. Um, however, if anyone that lives in Canada, or I'm going to say Toronto because I'm not sure what's happening like in BC, Alberta and stuff, but in, a, in Toronto, we went from gasping like 215 like three weeks ago to now it's like a dollar seventy and i'm happy <laughs> i mean i'm not happy that it's that much but it's better than nothing right so but i actually realized the moment that the gas prices started going back down so did my oil and uh oil and energy stocks too so i'm like in a i'm not gonna say panic mode but i'm like mm, do i take profit which is always the case or do i believe in the stock enough to keep going um we will see what happens um there's one stock that I don't want to get, like sell anything because I do get monthly dividends with them. And the monthly dividends has been sweet. So I might stick with it. Uh, there's a couple that I have that there could be their time to, to go. So, but um, July 15th is the day where Google good old google does it stock split so before um when i bought it oh, oh okay <laughs> i'm liking where google is right now because i think i bought it at the 2400 range and it is at the 2400 range 2398 after hours but it's at the range where i'm okay when it splits because i'm gonna have 20 shares <laughs> i'm so happy so i usually i have it on my watch list but uh what happened after earnings and it went like went down like 200 dollars. i'm like i don't need this negativity in my life <laughs> so i got rid of it but i just looked and it's it's looking good so anyone that and this is not financial advice this is for entertainment purposes only or educational purposes only um look to see if you want google um you might be happy whether you get it before or after it's up to you um on your affordability and all that good stuff um you know i do want to cut this short because Today's going to be a long day, and I had to prepare for the day. I'm really excited to be uh, joining with Flip and Floss, Andre. I haven't seen him in a minute uh, in person. <laughs> Actually, I saw him, what, two weeks ago? So, but it'll be good to link up with him in person again. So, I will try to have footage, like, behind the scenes type of footage um and post it on a different day um so yeah um just make sure you guys this weekend it looks like this weekend is going to be nice um save some cash uh, be respectful to everyone uh pay your bills <laughs> pay your bills and just make sure that you are trying to be financially fit and spending wisely because you know we outside but we want to make sure that we do it in a way where it's feasible for everyone and stuff and on that note folks i just want to big up i hopefully you guys will be at the the show or it's it's virtual so you can watch it virtually so i hopefully to see some of y'all there um because you can still watch this afterwards and all that good stuff so make sure you support uh that's gonna be another discussion because i got things to say
I got things to say. But on that note, folks, peace and love and all of that good stuff. Anyway, you got all fame music. A villa ville, flip, flash, money, literacy boss. Flip, flash, money, literacy boss. Flip, flash, money, literacy boss. Flip, flash. <laughs> anyway, chop, flip and flash, money, literacy boss. Choo!